And I see pandas! Alright, so there's two pandas right here. Hi, Demijack Gaming here with another seed review. In today's seed, which I'll be showing on screen right about now, what happens is when you spawn a seed, it spawns you in this nice little plane biome. Pretty nice, huh? Pretty nice. Though if you turn around, let, 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 let's turn around. There is a jungle biome right over there, right over there. And that's not all. And right next to you got a plains bi biome village spawned halfway between a jungle and a plains biome. It looks pretty nice, this village. Also, another thing, there's this weird like cave thing over here and what I like about this is that it's kind of like a little room dug into the cave so you can go ahead and build a secret base right here overlooking the village which I think is cool or you could use it for storage or whatever you wanted to use it for because it's your world now you might be sitting there thinking oh that's really really good Demi Jack though how could you add it also there's a bamboo there well, 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 if you go a little bit this way, it's just straight from the village. If you go this way, you'll come along and you'll see all this jungle and jungle and there's bamboo forest, bamboo forest, damn smack in the middle of the jungle. And that's pretty, pretty cool if you ask me. Are there panda bears? Oh, you bet there's panda bears. There's panda bears everywhere. So if you keep going, I think over here, over here, it's a little bit of a walk from spawn. A little bit of a walk from spawn. I can get there quicker because I'm flying. It is as, as you can probably see by now. Also, there's some weird blocks over there. Alright, as you can probably see by now, what is that? What is that? What is that? Well, what that is, is a jungle pyramid. Now, in case you don't know, jungle pyramids usually store loot. Though I'm sure you know that. Because you are an expert Minecraft player. Now let's get on in to this jungle. Now there is no doors into the jungle pyramid. That's one thing because it's a pyramid. Pyramids don't have doors I believe. However if you break this block. You get in like this little nice room here. And I'm going to need a potion for this. Okay so I got my potion. Let's drink up. Now as I can see a little bit better. This is a whole big room in here. And if you go up here. Hello zombie. Now if you go up here. You got another room up here, though there's not really much up in this room. But you're probably wondering, wh what's down the stairs? Well, you gotta be careful when going down the stairs, because, oh, creeper. There's traps everywhere. I think you can turn the traps off by pressing these. I don't know, let's see if that works. Nope, that does not work. Though, however, you gotta be careful, because this thing right here is camouflage. It's a um, dispenser. It will fire arrows at you, as you can see right here. Me picking up arrows. It's out of arrows now also. And it's redstone laying right here so you can easily destroy the contraption by taking like that. Which now watch if I go over here. It should not fire. It's out of arrows so it's not going to fire anyway. Though I completely did destroy the contraption. Ow! There's another one. Where's the other one? I did not know there was another one. Where is the other one coming from? Oh, right here! I couldn't see because it was camouflage. Alright. Yeah, yeah, remember there's another one right here. I did not know that. It's also camouflage with vines. So you're never going to see it. Now, this is treasure chest. What is in this treasure chest? Also, what's causing it? We're running. There's no pressure plates. As per usual with our sand temples. Instead, you got trip wire. It's like a wire that's across the room. And if you walk over it, it trips it and activates it. Now, let's have a look what's in here. Alright. So, in the chest, you've got some rotten flesh, 16 rotten flesh, you've got 11 bones, and you've got 4 gold. Now, that's pretty good in the bone and gold business, because gold is rare, and, I mean, you don't get a hell of a lot of gold, but 4 gold, 4 gold. You could make, like, 2 hoes with it, and there's also, and for some reason, I can put arrows in the dispenser now. Alright, let's try this out. Ow! <laughs> Alright. Pretty, pretty cool messing around with those dispensers. 
And you got some mountain flashes, I guess you could use for... I, I don't know what you can really use them for strike. I, I guess brewing? Can you use them for brewing? And bones to make bone meal, of course. Now let's get out of here. Once you're safely out of the jungle pyramid, if you go along this way, I believe, it's a quick fly. You'll see another bamboo forest. This bamboo forest, mind you, is pretty cool because last time I was here, I saw a panda. Now let's go down and see if we can find any panda. There's also lava here. There's also lava here. I, I don't know what lava's doing in a bamboo forest, but let's see if we can find some pandas. And I see pandas! Alright, so there's two pandas right here. Two pandas, it looks like they're making out. Hello, panda! As you can see, there's two pandas, and... Pretty sure pandas won't attack you unless you hit them, but I'm in creative mode. Okay, I think pandas are pretty passive all, all around. Now, as you can see, also fun fact, each pant is like 16 or something different panda skins. So each panda can look different, I guess. Though I think these two pandas look very much the same. I saw that on a Nintendo Switch article about pandas. Now, let's... You'll come across this river, which is the border of the jungle and bamboo forest and the tiger biome. I checked to see what biome it was because I didn't know. Well, it's a tiger biome. And personally, I like the trees in the tiger biome. The trees look pretty cool. Also, there's a ravine there. I just didn't just notice that. And there's another one there. So there's two ravines in this tiger biome. Though the tiger biome is pretty massive. I haven't explored the whole tiger biome. But it looks pretty massive. Looks like it goes on for miles. And right over here, you've got a desert. Now, not much is going on in the desert. It's just a desert. Though there is something interesting in the desert. So let's go have a look, shall we? As you can see, there's a ravine right there, I think. Is that a ravine? Pretty sure that's a ravine or something. Small ravine. Maybe an open cave. I don't know. I can't tell at this point. This desert is boring. Though, there is this... Also, there is this water fountain in the middle of the desert. Because, you know, you need water out here in the desert. It's just so rare. You need lots and lots of water. Stay hydrated in the desert. I mean, look at all this water. There's no water around me, even though there's a river right there. Alright, so going to the river. Actually, it's a pond. Also, you got lava. Though the interesting thing, the interesting thing. Right next to this desert is an ocean biome. That is why you need the water fountain, because there is so little water in, in this desert. That even though it's by an ocean biome, you need a water... You need water... You need water! Now, right here, right here, there's this village, right here, next to the ocean. And as you can see, the villagers have made home in the desert and the ocean. And there's farmers. The farmers sell food stuff. They always do. Also, that golem's got a rose. I wonder who his lucky date is. Now, let's go over here. As you can see, there is this blacksmith in the desert village. Now, if we go in... There's no anvil, so don't expect to repair your uh, weapons and armor and stuff. But there is this grindstone where you can repair and this enchant. And also, is this chest. What is in this chest, you may ask? What is in this chest? Well, it's kind of random on what you get. Though, however, in this chest I got four iron, two bread, an iron boots, a saddle, and diamond horse armor. As I said, this chest is, is kind of random. But it usually gives that good stuff. The last seed I played in, it was giving an iron pick and some iron armor. So, and it was the exact same seed also. It was the exact same seed, exact seed, and it gave one. Remember, this chest is random. You may not get what I have, though I do like this chest a lot. I like this chest a lot, like, like really, really a lot. It gives good loot out. I mean, it, it, it's a blacksmith. It, it's going to have good loot. Also, as you can see, big ocean biome. Big ocean biome. Could probably build a couple of dozen underwater houses in here. Also, there's tiny islands off the village. As you can see, village right there. And you've got all these tiny islands. Like there. There. One of them's got a shipwreck. I think that one. Yeah, that one. Now, there is one village, one village which I, I really want to show you, I really want to show you. 
it's on an island also. This is what makes this village so special. This village is so special. As you can see, there's the village there where it's loading. It's on, a, like, probably the largest island in this ocean desert. It, it's like a subcontinent, if you ask me. Pretty big. And to be honest, I think this island's quite beautiful. Also, I like the hillsides and mountains in this sea. They're also really beautiful. It's, it's got that going for it. Now, if we go down here, village right in the middle of an island in right in the middle of the ocean. Pretty, pretty cool. I don't know how these villages got out here. I don't know how they communicate with the other villages. So, let's go have a look what's in here. As always, there is loot. There is loot, my good sir. There is loot, I think. It should be loot. And there go the villagers running for their lives. Also, just want to point out this... This is right above this underground area. Mind you, I would like to build a base under here, I would think. We'd like to build a base under here. Also, the sand falling from the sky, but don't worry about that. It's sandstone, as you can see. There's some coal, duralite. you got even got some iron over here. Like, loads of iron. Two iron. And... That's really it in this cave. Though I do like this cave. Oh, and there's coal right here, so... Two coal right here. So I like the underground cave. The underground cave is pretty, pretty cool. And it's the perfect space and size to build a base underneath the village where you can protect the village. Now, chess, 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 because as always, if you're going to a village, you pretty much want chess. Well, let's see if we can find a chess. Also, you may notice if you get over here in time, there's some cacti just laying there. Here we go, chess. As you can see, this Chess has clay, cactus, and bread in it. Not that good if you ask me, though I do like the clay. I do like the clay. Now, also, it, if you stand right here on this side of the village, you can see this other continent. Actually, I think it may be the same continent. I don't know. Anyway, as you can see, look at that view. It, it's nice and beautiful. Nice and beautiful. I love that mountain. That mountain is a 10 up for me. Now, Anyway, you might be wondering, where is the stronghold? Well, this is where the stronghold is. If we bring up... Hang on. This, the stronghold XYZ location is 1539.841. That's the X, I believe. The Y is 73.19454. And the Z is 346.8. 6-1-12, and it is in a birch forest. So, as you can see, if you can read the stats up here, this is pretty much the stats. This is pretty much the stats. It's in that hole right there. Originally, I thought this Minecraft seed had no stronghold, which came to my conclusion as on my test seed, it led to nothing. However, this seed, which is the exact same seed, mind you, led to this, so I'm getting the last version of the seed I got was maybe glitch or maybe the eye of ender was glitched or something. Anyway, if you jump down this hole, you are led to this room. Now, I have no idea where the ender portal could be, but we're going to find the ender portal. Okay, there's this jail area here, I think. So we're going down here. Also, and look at that! How easy is that? How easy is that? The... I oh, the Ender Portal is right here. It's right here and it's got no... It's got no Eye of Enders in it. No Eye of Enders in it. It's right here, pretty much from where you get straight into the... Yeah, I came through there. I came through there. So, and, and then I came through there. So, you drop to here. You want to go through that door there. Then you want to go through this door. Then you want to go through here, go through this hallway here, down these steps, and right here. Don't go that way, though there is a treasure chest this way. Let's see what's in the treasure chest. Alright, so iron sword, iron leggings, and apple. Not very good, not very good. Let's see what's down here. I just want to see what's down here for a second. Alright, so it's merging with a cave, and it looks like there's bookcases over here. So if you can manage to get over here. Pretty massive library also. I don't know how many books. 
I would have to count them all and it takes too long. Do I know a box or cat actually counts the bookshelves? That, 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 that's dedication right there. That is dedication right there. Anyway, you got that chest and you got the chest up here. Now you also got these cells, which I guess you could lock friends in. So that is pretty much the scene in general. Overall, the scene, it, it, it's okay in my opinion. It's got an interesting idea of the jungle pyramid right near spawn. That is interesting and good for some free loot early game. Though, the scene doesn't offer much in my opinion besides in the jungle temple which you could turn into a base also. So you got a cool base if you turn into the base or storage or whatever. Which I think is cool if you ask me. So the stronghold is pretty far away in, to be honest. And second thing is you may get you may get a glitch eye vendor. I originally got a glitch eye vendor. I don't know if this is related to the seed. I don't know, but the eye vendor lured me to a completely different place, which wasn't here. And mind you, I didn't even go past it on the way here, and it was glitch. And I dug down, I dug down multiple times, but the eye vendor was saying right here, stronghold's right here, bro. And I was like, there's no stronghold here. But luckily. The second I end I got on this world with the seed did not glitch out, did not glitch out, and led me to the eye vendor. Thank you. Now, if you want to plant a seed, I, I, I probably would. I probably would. Like, it, it's not the best seed. There's better seeds, especially re regarding the ender portal, how there's no, you know, eyes in it. Like, you kind of want at least two eyes in your ender portal. You kind of want two eyes already in your ender portal. It, it saves the work. Because, see, that's like... One, two, three. That's like 12 eyes you got to get. And I'm pretty sure eyes are rare. And, and you have to craft them from ender pearls and something else. So, lots of work. Lots of work to get to the nether. So, if you can get to the nether, this will pretty much happen. Also, I like the sound when you put them in. And boom, I know I do this every seed. I just love the sound putting the eye vendors in. Now that's pretty cool. Now, anyway, I am showing seed one last time on screen if you want to actually play on a seed. Because let's be honest, it, it, it is a nice seed. Not the best seed, but it is a nice seed. I know I've been saying that a lot. Now, if you want to see more content like this, Make sure you subscribe to Dammy Jack Gaming and leave a like so I know if you like the video. Anyway, I'll see you all next time. Remember to like and subscribe. And this is Dammy Jack, as always, signing out.